go back into your life who are the people who have hurt you blamed you the book of matthew chapter 18 says jesus gave a beautiful story a man had taken 1 lakh rupee from his master and he could not pay back that 1 lakh the master was angry called that man and said subha kada ra ha subaya kada ra vaya ha 1 lakh rupees he had taken give me back my money subaya said sorry sir i don't have when i am having i will give you because of that only i am having sleepless nights you are very powerful i know but i am not able to pay back i invested your money all became loss supaya was so kind god that master was so good to supaya he said okay i forgive your sin you need not pay me back your debt go sleep peacefully go now supaya went outside and he found another karupaya ha uh, and karupaya had taken 100 rupees from supaya supaya had taken 1 lakh and the master forgave him now supaya when he goes out he found karupaya who had taken 100 rupees got so angry to karupaya neck he cut and said give me back my 100 rupees that fellow said sir i have nothing sir to give and to eat when i get i will give you back sir supaya got so angry gave him and took him to the police he had taken 100 rupees from me he didn't give back put him into the jail to put him into the jail he gave another 100 to police ha huh? he could have forgiven him when people saw this they went to the master and said master master yes that supaya had taken 1 lakh from me yes man but i have forgiven him what master you forgave his 1 lakh rupee debt but that fellow is not able to forgive 100 rupees of the debt who taken from him he gave to police but not to that fellow he put him into the jail such a cruel man he is call that supaya the master said stupid fellow i forgave your 1 lakh rupee can you forgive that 100 rupees put this supaya inside the jail until he pays back 1 lakh same thing the lord will do for us he said he is so merciful he knows how sometime even we too are cruel some we too are very dirty but still his love for us is so much he has forgiven everything in the same way you in your life people might have been cruel to you unnecessarily blamed you even hurt you even used your bodies for their own pleasure and left you well forgive one another as i have forgiven you as i have loved you keep alive that love and forgive them all by your forgiving nature you will be known as my disciples that's why in john chapter 13 verse 35 after washing the feet of his disciples he said by your love the world will know that you are my disciples can i humbly request you to close your eyes for a minute be aware be aware that what are the hurts you have gone through in life what are the pain and suffering you have gone through what are the humiliations you have gone through if you are don't forgive them it will become poison in you 
even a great servant of god like samson he could not forgive his wife who went away so he destroyed the lands of his wife and the philistines he received goodness from god but when he was hurt he could not show that goodness to others so his eyes were plucked his hands and feet were tied up he died a horrible death no if you don't forgive others how can you expect god to forgive you this is the moment of grace for all of us who are the people who have hurt you blamed you spoken ill of you we read in romans chapter 12 verse 17 to 21 it says it speaks close to our hearts do not repay evil for anyone who has done evil to you maybe your own brother maybe your own sister maybe your own parents maybe your own companions in the office do not pay evil back for those who have done evil to you keep alive the goodness of god remember the goodness and kindness of god and be keep alive that goodness of god it is that will sustain you it is possible as far as it depends on you live at peace with everyone do not take revenge my friend but leave room for god's love for it is written it is my to avenge do not do not think that that somebody has done to you you should do something to him no leave that to god me i will take action for what people have done against you as for you learn to to me and become goodness don't lose the goodness i have given to you with a kind and goodness of heart you begin to pray today father this man has hurt me this woman has wounded me and keeping alive your goodness i forgive this man i forgive this woman i forgive i forgive i forgive learn to surrender yourself to the lord do not allow evil to overcome you but overcome evil but overcome the evil by good keep alive the truth that knowing everything of mine still god loves me god has forgiven me god lives in me keep alive the goodness of god and forgive one another that you will be the children of god ask the lord to fill you with his love let god's love fill you god's goodness abide in you that you will become vessels of forgiveness vessels of goodness my dear friends sangamam plus tv is god's gift for you for our times like comment share and subscribe god will do wonders in your life praise the lord